APP processing and plaque formation. Excess amyloid beta peptide is believed to be a main contributor to the dysfunction and degeneration of neurons that occurs in Alzheimer's disease. A beta is a 38 to 43 amino acid peptide that is derived from the beta amyloid precursor protein, APP. APP to a larger evolutionarily conserved APP superfamily protein family, that includes the APP itself, and amyloid precursor like protein 1 and 2 in mammals. All of them are single-pass transmembrane proteins with large extracellular N-terminal and a shorter cytoplasmic C-terminal. The APP superfamily shares several conserved domains, however, only APP generates an amyloidogenic fragment owing to the unique beta domain in sequence divergence. Though expressed in many tissues, APP is concentrated in the synapses of neurons in the central nerve system. APP can be sequentially two different ways by different sets of enzymes. An amyloidogenic pathway leads to amyloid plaque formation, while a canonical pathway does not. In general, almost 90% of APP undergoes the non-amyloidogenic canonical pathway, and 10% the amyloidogenic pathway. However, the ratio can be altered by genetic mutations, environmental factors and the age of the individual. Cleavage products of APP from both pathways play diverse roles that are important in neural development and function. The non-amyloidogenic pathway involves cleavage of APP by alpha secretus to generate two fragments. An 83 amino acid C-terminal fragment that remains in the membrane and an N-terminal at the domain SAPP alpha that is released into the extracellular medium. Three enzymes have been identified with alpha secretas activity, atom 9, 10 and 1, 71. Importantly, cleavage of APP by alpha secretas occurs within the abeta domain and consequently prohibits abeta peptide production. Of note. The C83 membrane fragment can be subsequently cleaved by gamma secretus to produce a short fragment called P3 peptide and a C-terminal fragment. To date, the P3 peptide is believed to be pathologically irrelevant. The amyloidogenic pathway leads to neurotoxic beta generation. BACE1, the major beta secretus in the brain, mediates the first proteolysis step which releases a large N-terminal at the domain, SAPP beta into the extracellular medium. A 99 amino acid C-terminal fragment remains in the membrane. The newly exposed C99 N-terminus corresponds to the first amino acid of a beta. Successive cleavage of this fragment between residues 38 and 43 by gamma secretus releases the abeta peptide. The genic pathway occurs in the endocytic pathway, as beta secretus mediates the first proteolysis step in mature endosomes. The successive cleavage of C99 leads to the generation of abeta peptides, which are secreted outside the cell. Monomeric and oligomeric forms of abeta overwhelm the brain's capacity for clearance and degradation and form extracellular plaques causing neurotoxicity through several mechanisms including microglial infiltration, oxidative stress, and synaptic damage. Most of the peptides are 40 residues in length, a beta 40, with a small percentage containing 42 residues, a beta 42. A beta 42 is considered the more neurotoxic form, because the extra two amino acids provide a greater tendency to misfold and subsequently aggregate. Elevated plasma levels of a beta-42 have been correlated with Alzheimer's disease. For more information, please visit creativediagnostics.com.